All right, here we go. Here we go. We have 360 Second Campbell. How are you doing today? Good, man. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Yep, I can hear you okay. See you okay. Everything is looking good. Good, so, good. So, so what is going on? I know you are a live scope man. So, <laughs> so what do you what do you have to add to this topic? <laughs> uh, you you're not putting that genie back in the bottle. <laughs> And so why is that? Why is that? So for the people that want it gone, you're saying it's already out, so it's just not going to happen. Yeah, as, as some of the uh, some of the people commented that, uh, one, there's too much money into it. Two, all the pros are using it. It's become a staple. It's a norm in bass fishing now, especially in the tournament circuit. And it's across all circuits, so it's uh, MLF as well as bass. So gotcha. it's not going anywhere. Okay. So why, is, why do you think that they – were able to do that if that is the case with musky fishing why were they you know why did they um ban it with with them for now i'm not sure i don't know if it has something to do with i don't musky fish so it, maybe it has something to do with the way you musky fish um okay i don't really understand the rationale behind it for musky there may not be quite as much money in musky as there is on the bass side of things that's possible yeah um participation rate may not be as as high either um because you got to think in a bass circuit i mean mlf has what four circuits plus high school and it's us wide bass has got clubs and circuit and they're us wise uh us wide so yes sir the amount of participation i would have to say from the bass side is probably astronomically larger than must right, now right. i don't i don't know I, i'm i'm just you know right yeah that yeah loud. Yeah, because in our minds, we're used to bass fishing. So I'm kind of thinking that musky fishing is the same. You're throwing a lure out there and you're trying to catch it. So I re I don't even know if they use live bait. I know nothing about musky fishing. I'm just looking at it from the competitive sports side. But yeah, I mean, I understand exactly what you're saying. And it also, when you read that article, um, I may have not interpreted it right, but it almost sounded like they wanted to to basically you can use forward facing sonar all season except for the championships um my impression was that this it's already banned now so for the rest okay. of this season and, and then gonna, further and then they're going to reevaluate it for right because i think it was maybe like two more tournaments left maybe but it looks like they were saying that you can use it for your practice up until two hours before they start or something like that that's kind of what i was gathering from it and so like i said i'm not familiar with the format or how they you know how they set that up but i did kind of get that they were banning it for the rest of this season and anybody that does not agree can can get a re refund on it so <laughs> Yeah, it may be, it may also be something to the way that muskie set up versus how bass set up, uh, because even with a live scope, you can't always see bass. If they're hugging the bottom, you can't see them. If they're mm -hmm. suspended, you can see them. And even if they're in brush piles, you really can't see them until they move. Right. You know. Um, so maybe muskie look different on the live scope. Oh, I've I've seen some um, some imaging with muskie. Those things are big. <laughs> so I mean, they're very easy to see. Those are the ones. Whenever I remember when the 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 videos were first coming out, and they were saying, "Hey, look how good you can see the fish. You can see the fins, and you can see the gills and stuff like that." Those were muskie because their fins are probably. I mean, I, don't, I was gonna say the size of my hand, but I've seen some some three. I think like three feet. If I'm thinking about the right species, those things get kind of big. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't know if I saw it on the live scope, I probably wouldn't cast at it, <laughs> right? Because I think it's a or something, something. so right. <laughs> like, no, it's my time on that, right? Uh, but, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that uh, genie's going back in the bottle. I think there's a lot of misconception around it until you actually have it and you use it often, um, and you kind of learn what it can and can't do. You kind of start getting beyond the myth. That's what part of my comment was that. Yeah, you know, the myth is that if I get live scope, suddenly I'm going to be able to catch fish. Well, no, that's not the case at all. Right, right. You'll be able to see it. fish, but you still have the same problem you always have. One, I ding the fish. And what my comment meant when I said that you can't control the size of the fish that you that bites your lure or that you catch, that's right. the one denominator in bass fishing. It doesn't matter how many fish you're around. You can't control the one that hits the lure. Right, yeah. It could I'm... be the six-pounder or the six-inch. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, look, I, you know, I was just messing with you. I knew what you, I knew what you were saying. I, I was like, yeah, you know, you can. Yeah. So even if you can see that five pounder next to that one and a half pounder, that one and a half pounder, a lot of times is gonna fly over there and bite that lure first, and that five pounder is gonna sit back and be like, yeah, I just wanted to see what, if, what that was gonna do to you if you bit it. I just wanted to kick right. back and watch. There goes yeah. John. See ya. <laughs> right. <laughs>